yourself, Audrey. You're still weak. The Keepers can be relentless to strangers. But there's nothing to fear as long as I'm with you. You're safe now. You did this to me. You brought me here. Turned me into this, this thing. This doesn't make sense. I've never done anything to you. Open your eyes and look around you. None of this makes sense. Drawn walls, nightmarish creatures, an ancient studio that died out almost 30 years ago. It's all fiction, utter nonsense. And yet, in here, it exists. It breathes. It flourishes. Reality, guided by its master's pen. The foundation for a new reality. We can bleed into our own. Just think of it. Anything we create in here, we can release. Out there. But first, this world must be controlled. Made safe. These things, these angels and demons, are they really life? Or are they just stains? Old mistakes ready to be cleansed away for newer, greater things. What do you want from me? I need your help to save my father's life. What? This is our star. We'll talk more once we're safely inside. evil continues to spread. This world has become a shudder. Be quiet! What did you say? Nothing. It was nothing. Hmm. Almost there. Just a quick stop. Won't take but a moment. Civilized world. How do you like my signal towers? They nullify the ink demon's powers so he cannot pass them. I wish I could say I invented them, but it seems our friends at the Gent Corporation had a demon problem of their own long ago. If you'll excuse me, I have a lot to prepare. We'll talk later, I promise. Besides, you must be very tired. A quick rest will do you good. Betty will show you to your room. She's my housekeeper, among other things. You never actually killed the Ink Demon, did you? No, he's too powerful to destroy. So we sealed him away, trapped him in a different form, one that was smaller, 
harmless. Bendy. It was a fitting prison, although he seems to have found a way to free himself. But enough talk. We'll deal with that soon enough. 